of the fastest ways to turn around brain fog is to get someone's active thyroid hormone from zero to hero. When we look at most cases of why someone um, has gains weight because of low thyroid, I want you guys to know that there's an underlying scientific mechanism involved. I love mechanisms. I love biochemistry. So I want to educate you a little bit about that, a lot about that, which is that when you have active thyroid hormone, the receptor for the heart is very sensitive to the active thyroid hormone, but so are the receptors in your fat cells and in your liver. Okay. And so one of the most important things that you could do to boost your metabolism or get your metabolism to where it is, is actually to get a critical, like a evaluation of these thyroid labs and numbers. And when you look and you see, especially active thyroid hormone is not where it needs to be. It's life changing. If you're at 50% of the active thyroid hormone and you actually either by working on improving the activation of the inactive to active, or sometimes you take a little bit of a low dose something, or you take supplementation to help you make convert or activate more thyroid hormone. Boom. It's like people notice, like people are like, I'm waking up brain fog. Like I'm, we didn't even mention brain fog, but that's one of the fastest ways to turn around brain fog is to get someone's active thyroid hormone from zero to hero. And that can happen overnight. Mm -hmm. Overnight. Right? <laughs> yes. That's very encouraging. Hi, I'm Meg UMD, and I'm a functional and holistic medicine physician and the creator of the Transform and Transform Protocol. If you're interested in learning what are the root causes of all chronic disease, go ahead and click the link in the description where I have a power pack 30 minute training that goes over what are the five pillars of transform. Go ahead, click the link and I'll see you in that training. I just, I, I'm looking at Kimberly's case here and I'm just like, you know, Kathy, you know, we're, we're like talking about how well, I can't I wait to get my hands on. Like, like read this, read yeah. this. Like, look at this, everybody. I mean, I look at this. This is one of those cases. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. let me have that or let's finish this case for breakfast so I can move on to lunch and dinner here. <laughs> Chronic fatigue syndrome for 25 years, most extreme fatigue and brain fog, but now it's also affecting my thyroid and sex hormones. Well, yes, because chronic fatigue syndrome is 100% linked to thyroid and hormone problems, right? Mm -hmm. Recently, she started on BHRT, meaning she started on some hormones, everybody. Natural. And it's going to be, does, if you're taking thyroid medication or you're taking natural hormones, does that mean your thyroid or your hormones are actually balanced? Does it? Not even a little bit. I'm going to ask <laughs> you what type of chat. Not a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, answer that hypothetical question. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, the thing is, I, and here's a, here's a spoiler alert, spoiler alert, everybody. Okay. If you never do anything to calm the underlying autoimmune attack on the thyroid, no dose will ever be the right dose. Exactly. Think about that. So it's a roller coaster, right? If the roller coaster, you don't do anything to stop the up and down of a roller coaster and you give a thyroid medication, the same dose, it'll always be 80% of the time not enough, too high, too low, not the right, because the underlying roller coaster hasn't been calmed down. The underlying mm -hmm. roller coaster is actually the autoimmune attack. So this is why a lot of you are chasing medication. How many of you are chasing medication? Mm -hmm. I want to know how many people are chasing the right thyroid medication dose and how long have you been doing it? And I, I am telling you the holy grail of why that, um, why that doesn't work, because you're trying to give a static dose to a problem that is fluctuating doing nothing to calm the actual fluctuation itself, which is the autoimmune attack. Does that make sense? I, can, I just, if that makes sense to you, type it in chat. And if you've been guilty or your doctor's been guilty of just chasing medication after your symptoms, meanwhile, no matter how many tests you do, do how many dose changes you do, your symptoms are still fluctuating up and down. That's the reason why, because when we deal with people with thyroid, when we deal with people with chronic fatigue syndrome, POTS, um, autoimmune disorders, hormone imbalances, and Kathy and I are, and Dr. Jason and I are working with clients in our thyroid program and they uncover that, oh my gosh, in Linda's case, I'm gonna just let you guys know, one of her hormones, which is the active thyroid hormone, the only active thyroid hormone, we measured it, okay? It was 50% of what's optimal. Hmm. And meanwhile, she had chronic fatigue, hair was falling out, depressed as heck, weight gain. And she's been told six years that her thyroid is normal with a TSH and free T4, mm -hmm. right? Enough. That's enough, right? That's enough. Yeah. Hey, if you really enjoyed what you're watching and you want to learn more about this topic, 
make sure you check out, if you're on YouTube, some of the suggestions for what to watch next right here. And if you're watching on any other format, feel free to comment in the comment section. Our team and I will get those resources to you. And if you haven't clicked subscribe yet on YouTube, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified every time we are live. Thanks everyone.